Hi, meteorologist Peter Hall. Here's your NBC3 forecast. Looking ahead, when you compare today to what we had yesterday, it's better. Well, yesterday was drizzly and rainy all day, and that wasn't very nice. Overall today, I think the majority of the time it's going to be dry. Now, there's still clouds to work through, although there is an opportunity for some breaks of sun. Depending on how much break of sun you get or across central New York gets, you'll either be 55, 56 if you get a lot, 50, 51 if you don't get much. So eh, go in the middle there, 53. Overall, nothing worse than a brief sprinkle or shower. I think most of us are going to stay dry most of the time today. We're keeping an eye on a nor'easter south of Long Island, which will be developing today. It'll eventually try to start throwing some rain our way tonight into tomorrow. More on that in a second. And that is part of our weather headlines today. What to expect? There's a nor'easter nearby developing today. It will not affect us anywhere in central New York today. But that rain is something we're tracking spiraling east to west back into central New York as opposed to the normal direction from west to east. It's not moving very much in the short term. And when weather systems slow down to a crawl, which is happening over the next 24 hours, there's always some timing trouble and tracking trouble with the system that's slowing down and when the next system moves in. So this is giving us a little bit of a forecast dilemma. Forecast is a little more uncertain than normal, but we're giving you some idea that we may have to make some more changes, which is why we'll keep you posted. And that's why you might see some changes in the forecast. Looking ahead, the one change we're keeping is that we're keeping it a little cooler now for Saturday night and Sunday and a little extra cloudy. But Monday and Tuesday look above average for temperatures. Let's take you back and show you what to expect today. A lot of cloud cover this morning, a little patchy fog at 8 o'clock. Watch what happens today. Do you see much on the radar? No, not really. Now, this particular computer model may be overdoing the amount of breaks in the clouds, but I'm showing you this on purpose because these areas that have less cloud cover on the map are probably the ch best, best chances for it. So, Southern Tug Hill down to Oneida Lake, you have a good chance. Hastings, Oswego, Fairhaven, Fulton, good chance. Maybe Syracuse, Beeville, Cato, Auburn, Sodus, good chance. Now you get Route 20 south, the chances get lower for breaks of sun because you have an upslope northerly wind, so probably a lot of cloud cover there. But you get the point, some breaks of sun trying to come out today. Those of you that get extra breaks of sun, mid-50s, Oswego, Fulton, Beeville. Syracuse South, 50 to 55, and then Tully, Cortland, Ithaca, mm, closer to 50, 51 probably with extra clouds. Overnight, you see a little bit of this rain starting to move in from the east. And that's something that I think will certainly affect Herkimer, Oneida, Madison, at times Lewis and Shenango counties, and trying to move back into the 81 corridor towards tomorrow morning. Now, just how far back west this rain retrogrades, moving in from east to west, is a little bit of a conundrum, which is what I just told you about being a little bit of a track and timing problem. What does that mean for you? I think those of you in the Route 12 and 28 corridor from Old Forge to Boonville, Rome, Utica, Sir uh, Sherburne, and Norwich, Hamilton, it's going to be low to mid 40s at best and wet and raw and windy. 81 corridor, we're going to go for occasional light rain and upper 40s. Further west, we'll see how much rain happens. I'm not sure yet. Cuga, Auburn West might be drier than, let's say, Syracuse East Thursday. Friday, leftover light rain and cloud coverage trying to dissolve to a few glimmers of sun. We'll see how much sun we can actually get. Amount of sun is going to be limited, 10 to 20 percent today, zero tomorrow, 20 percent Friday. And here's your precipitation probability quickly. Don't forget, you can get more on our website, including the CNY Central 7-day forecast.